Number 1. The Tsiolkovsky State Museum of Cosmonautics. This is a very modern museum with an impressive collection of Soviet and Russian space equipment. Several things made a big impression on me, as an American. The museum fairly represented all of the major successes of the American space program as well as the Soviet-slash-Russian one. By contrast, American aerospace museums really don't acknowledge the Soviet successes in the same way, which is to their discredit. Number 2. Kate Tsiolkovsky's House Museum. Tsiolkovsky was a Russian provincial dreamer who tried to keep up with the advancements of the science of his time. He became famous for the calculations of rocket engines and dreams of interplanetary space flights. The museum reconstructs the life of Tsiolkovsky family. Number 3. Kalugu Park Park of Culture and Leisure. It's a very nice park with many old trees, one of them is a unique ancient oak. A beautiful fountain. A viewing site with a telescope, from where you can see Oka River, the bridge and the modern part of Kaluga. Holy Trinity Cathedral with its icon of Our Lady of Kaluga and with sculptures of local saints nearby. Number 4. Planetarium. If you are fond of astronomy and are interested in modern science, this place is for you. There are programs for all ages, from little kids to adults. They are in Russian, but if you don't understand the language, you can always enjoy stunning views of the night sky. By the way, in this planetarium they demonstrate a big iron meteorite, which is even allowed to touch. Number 5. Monument to Tsiolkovsky, a man with a bicycle. In Kaluga local residents love their famous countrymen. Sometimes even too much. Because the citizens install the monuments to them and don't know measure in such want. So, there are in the city already six monuments to Tsiolkovsky. Well the one installed on his grave, and the other in the museum house, you can still understand. Number 6. Kaluga Holy Trinity Cathedral. This cathedral is quite original. However, it is in spirit, in clear and direct belonging to the typical examples of classicism, interspersed with the empire-style features, suitable for the status of the cathedral, as it is up to this day. However, the interior, and first of all dark tones in paintings and frescoes, is decorated in an emphasized old Russian Byzantine style. Number 7. Kaluga Regional Museum of Local Lore. Now it is a United Museum, which manages a dozen of other museums, including those known as the Politny Zavod Estate and Chamber of Merchant Korobov, which, incidentally, can be viewed on one ticket. But the Merchant House of Zolotarev on Pushkin Street is a kind of central museum. It's not bad. Looks quite impressive, especially the lacy wrought iron gate at the entrance. Number 8. Stone Bridge. A stone bridge in Kaluga. It is a viaduct, with arches, the central of which are of two tiers. It is the oldest stone viaduct in Russia and one of the oldest in the world. Moreover, in the size it also surpasses many of its counterparts. Number 9. Cosmos and Damien Church. Amazingly beautiful Baroque church. Very unusual, tall five-headed, pedal and plan. And a lot of money was spent for its construction, so in those days it was stood out among the buildings of its own kind. And was built, as many believe, by one of the disciples of the great Ristrelli. Number 10. Kaluga Regional Drama Theater. Theater Square is one of the best in Kaluga. It is very well organized from the architectural and urban planning point of view. Perspective decorated by a chain of illuminated fountains closes as the focus by the local drama theater. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.